WBO welterweight champion Terrence Crawford is looking for all the smoke in the welterweight division, but seems he can't find any takers. December 14th, Terrence Crawford will fight his mandatory, undefeated two-time Olympian, Adigis Kovalaskis. Most people expect Terrence Crawford to win this fight going away. Kovalaskis is a big underdog in this fight. Crawford is promoted by top rank. All the other welterweights with name value are promoted by the PBC. And the problem with that is, the PBC does not like to share. No, I don't want to hear no ridiculous argument. Oh, well, Terrence Crawford should have signed with the PBC. That's not true because Udonis Ugas won his title eliminator to fight Spence. And he got passed over by Danny Garcia. Or what about Gary Russell and Tank Davis? Both are under the same banner and that fight cannot be made. Well, I won't say it, it can't be made, but Al Heyman will not make the fight. And that's the same boat Terrence Crawford would be in. He, I believe Al Hamby will not make that Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence fight right away, even if Terrence Crawford would sign with the PBC. Now, everybody knows, unless you've been living under a rock, that the biggest fight to make is Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. And the biggest excuse is the politics of boxing. They're on different sides of the street. But in history past, they found out a way to work it out. Felix Trinidad was with Don King. Oscar De La Hoya was Bob Arum. They made the fight. And people ask me, why I don't criticize Terrence Crawford? Because Terrence Crawford is trying to fight the best. He wants all the smoke in the division, but he can't get it. Plus, Terrence Crawford was undisputed champion at junior welterweight. Then he moved up his first fight and won a title in the welterweight division. Terrence Crawford goes on to say, I don't know if this fight will ever happen. And I agree with that. I even thought that before the accident, I think Al Heyman and Earl Spence is going to avoid Terrence Crawford until he shows age. Another reason to be with top ranked boxing is he makes more money there and he fights more frequently. Those PBC fighters might fight once a year and they don't make as much money as Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford made five and a half million dollars off their con fight. Errol Spence made two million dollars fighting Sean Porter. And that's not including the pay per view percentages. And people will say, well, Terrence Crawford can't fill the seats. He can't sell pay per view numbers. But the reason Errol Spence had that big pay per view was the help of Mikey Garcia. That's another excuse Errol Spence trainer Derek James used. Now, I never heard of a trainer saying something like that about another fighter. Oh, he doesn't sell tickets. It just tells me why the fights are not really being made. He knows Errol Spence will get knocked out by Terrence Crawford. And the rest of the PBC welterweights fear Terrence Crawford, who's the real boogeyman of the welterweight division. Leave your comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.